Hey guys, it's Glass, and welcome back to Cadman Cosmetics. Today I am bringing you part two of my fall haul. Um, so without any further ado, I have done a lot of shopping since I got the items from my first part of my fall haul, and I wanted to share the rest of what I got with you, so let's get started. Alright, first off, I want to start with some Fenty Beauty products. Um, I finally got to get the Pro Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade 210. Um, they have not had my shade in stock since a couple days after it came out in stores, so I was really glad to see that they finally had my shade that I needed. From her holiday collection, the Galaxy Collection, I got two of the liquid eyeliners. One is in Later Crater, which is like a nude shade, and the other is in Net Turned, which this is like a really, really dark green. Um, this one has a dark green, kind of emerald green reflect once it dries and you rub it off. And this one has kind of a lime green uh, and lilac fluorescence to it. Not fluorescence, iridescence. And I did get one of the lipsticks as well. This is in the shade Supernova with a dollar sign, like vintage Kesha. And it's just like a really glittery, sparkly, pinkish, purple toned lipstick. Um, I like this a bit better than um, Too Faced Unicorn Tears, so... I'm probably going to be giving that one away and staying with this one, even though it's limited edition, even though I only bought one. How often do I wear those kinds of shades? Almost never. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got the new holiday palette, the Prism palette. Whoops. And I was really excited to get this. I was swatching the shades in Sephora one day, and I just knew I had to have it. Um, I got the last one at my Ulta store, so I was really glad to get my hands on it. I have been playing around with this a little bit to um, see kind of how it works with the subculture palette from Anastasia as well, but I so far I like it a lot. It's really really pretty. I think it's a great palette. I needed some new concealer, so I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. When I was at Sephora, they showed me this from Huda Beauty. This is the Lip Strobe in the shade Angelic. I've never used any Huda Beauty products before. But this was just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's kind of like light pink with kind of a gold champagne shift to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, but it's really pretty and it feels nice and comfortable on the lips. So I was excited to try that. From MAC, I got the Taraji P. Henson Viva Glam Bronze Lipstick. Um, and this is in the shade Viva Glam Taraji P. Henson 2. Uh, the first one of this collection was like a... Orchid shade, which I look terrible in those shades, but the bronze one is really, really pretty. Let me swatch it. It's like a really nice brown metallic bronze shade. I'm really bad at showing these kind of shifts. I don't know how to say this. Uh, from Couvent de Benin, um, I think that's how you say that, I got the lavender and mandarin hand cream because um, it's starting to get really dry out here in Wisconsin and I needed something to help my hands. From Real Techniques, I got this cute little brush. Look at this. This is the contour brush. Um, it comes as like a little ornament at Ulta. Um, I haven't bought any Real Techniques brushes in a while, but I thought this would be nice to help me contour a little bit. And last but not least, Morphe is now at Ulta. I've been very, very hesitant to try these, but since I got to actually swatch it in store and feel the textures of it, I picked up a couple things today. Um, the first one is their Highlight uh, and Contour Blender Sponge. I think that's what this is. Um, because I've heard good things about it and the other one, so I thought I would try this one because I like the chiseled shape of it more. I got the Definer brush, which is M432, because I don't have one that is this shape, especially how thin that is. Um, so I thought that would be really nice to get some detailing under the lash line. I got the Flat Contour M459, just to, you know, kind of get a little bit more of a precise chisel going on again, and then blend it out with the Real Techniques one. And then I bought this eyeshadow palette. This is the Nine Pan palette. Um, I forget what it's called, but this is the one that's exclusive to Ulta. And I chose this over any of the other ones because swatching the shades... Oh, it's called Always Golden. Swatching the shades... Um, this is the only one that I can actually see myself wearing. Um, when I swatched the 350 palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette, I wasn't very impressed. Um, I was expecting a lot more based off of how people talk about Morphe, um, but at least swatching, they weren't great. Um, I didn't really want to drop the extra money to try them out and have them not work out, 
but I got, ooh, but I got this one because it was only $12, so. All right, guys, that was part two of my fall haul. I really don't need to buy anything anytime soon, so hopefully I'll be done for a little while. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you'd like, you can follow the Cadman Cosmetics Instagram, at Cadman Cosmetics, which will be linked down below. Have a great week, and remember that you are clearly beautiful.